Hi there Pisces, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly intuitive reading for May the 3rd through to the 9th. Pisces, let's take a look and see what may be on the cards for you for the week. I hope you're doing really well. Um, just working here with the Work Your Light Oracle. We'll then go to the Moon Child Tarot for an overarching tarot energy. I will be using the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot Akashic for your tarot positions. And to let you know, Pisces, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All the links are below the video, including the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and hit the subscribe button, guys. It is important. Um, really, it's about keeping the content coming and making it possible for us readers to, to do what we do here. Okay, let's get one more. That one. Okay, Pisces, let's do the Oracle cards. First one out is Birthing a New Age. Birthing New Creations. Dreaming a new world into being. So this might be the time where you finally say, you know what, it's time to make it happen. No longer are you just wanting things to remain dreams or ideas or fantasies. There's this real call or pull to actually manifest something, to realize it, to birth it. So there might be a creative project. It might be, you know, wanting to move to the country. It could be you know, a new career, a new business, whatever it is, it's saying that maybe the time is right to, to birth this, dream your new world into being. And, you know, really we are creative beings and we can create what we want. Yes, there are sometimes some limitations that we might place on ourselves, but how can you make that happen? Whatever it is for you. Oh, and the crumbling Pisces, what are you clinging on to? Yeah, it looks a bit like the tower, doesn't it? Um, what it really says to me is that maybe it's time to uh, let go of some big, you know, structures in your life that might be blocking you from birthing this new age. You know, we can see that this beautiful utopia is behind the tower. Sometimes we hold on to jobs or relationships or places or friendships because we feel bad, because we feel obligated what would you remove from your life if you, you know, if you could without consequences? That's a good place to start. Of course, you know, we do have to go through the hard conversations and sometimes the grief, grieving for the loss of these things. But if they're really holding you back fundamentally, Pisces, it might be time to, to release. The, the tower or the crumbling is a card of getting back into alignment through releasing what doesn't serve you and what is not in alignment so that we create the space, we clear the slate for the new energy to come in. And because of that, we're sending that powerful message to the universe as to what we're available for. And it's just making it easier for us to, to manifest and magnetize towards us what we truly desire. So we'll see what way this comes out, Pisces. Oh, okay, lead toe energy is straight out. I have got the high priestess, love it. You know, the high priestess is this energy of listening to your intuition, Pisces. You know, you are the moon and the major arcana. You have a strong intuitive connection anyway. But sometimes at, at times we, we don't listen to the intuition because, you know, staying safe or staying where we are can feel better than the thought of the unknown or the thought of um, crumbling a tower in our lives, but that doesn't serve us in the long term. When we kind of resist a tower, generally we find ourselves going around for another cycle and facing it again. So the High Priestess says it's time to look at things clearly and through the intuition, feel into it. How does it feel to stay where you are versus how does it feel to potentially birth that new age? The High Priestess can also be the revealer of truth, mystery, sacred knowledge in divine timing. So there could be something that you learn this week that is fundamental to this shift for you. Okay, Pisces, well, let's go to the tarot. Beginning with the energy of the recent past. Energies that may be leaving, completing, transitioning in your life. If this, Pisces, is your reading, we have got the Eight of Cups. Absolutely, I will explain soon, you know. 
Sometimes we need to, to let go to, to move towards. Current or focus energy, the lovers, number six in the major arcana, links to Gemini energy. Outcome, outcome. Eight of wands. Double eights here. So that is an angel number for you. I have got the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. So we've got transitional energy here for sure. Clarifying the eight of cups. I've got the ace of cups. Oh my goodness. That's just the perfect little combo there. I'll explain very soon. Clarifying the lovers for you, Pisces. Two of pentacles. Yep. Okay. Strength card here. Mm. So there's indecision around partnership here. It doesn't have to be strictly romantic. It can be business partnership. It can be friendship. For many of you, it will be in your romantic relationships. Knight of Wands there. Okay, I've got Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Pisces, jumping in. Recent past Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups. The Eight of Cups is when we realize that within the situation we're in, whether it's friendship, work, or romantic partnership, we are not getting our full emotional needs met, or we can't quite complete the picture here. There's a feeling of not getting the level of love that we require, or that we're not in a situation that can grow with us and transform with us through the seasons of our lives. And we're kind of coming to that, that awakening or realization that just maybe that final piece that we're looking for lies elsewhere intuitively that's what you've been beginning to feel that's what the high priestess is bringing through for you you've had eight cups which is pretty good and, and an eight cup kind of situation can carry us through many years but generally we arrive at a point in time where it's like we want the higher levels high levels of commitment high levels of fulfillment so the person in the eight of cups is realizing well there's a fundamental piece missing and i need to transition to find the missing piece right the ninth cup which is the cup of wish fulfillment so this could look like in a relationship having a fundamental value that is just not in alignment one of you might have an absolute dream of you know moving to the country and being self-sufficient your partner might be set on living in urban metropolis and there's just no compromise there one of you may want to have children one may not one may want to raise them in one way one may not you know the in another way so it's really about the fact that it's irreparable differences here same in business partnership like wanting to take different directions friendships where you know you're just not seeing eye to eye and of course we can't be uh the same all the time like differences is good but these are differences that you know are really creating some kind of um you know some kind of real disconnection here so you have the Ace of Cups here as well, which is interesting because that is the missing piece. So some of you might have already had another opportunity elsewhere and you're kind of saying, well, you know what, I just need to honor myself and move towards that because, you know, this is really what I've been waiting for. It is the Ace of Cups. It is the cup that runneth, runneth over that fulfills me on all sensual levels that can transform my life so that's what I'm feeling is like this is either like actually a physical realized situation another person another partnership you know another opportunity or it's the foreshadowing of you know that that is exists in your future realm so that's what I'm seeing there guys in uh the current or focus energy I have the lovers two of pentacles which is the juggler card from the right away knight of wands which is Sagittarian energy for me so the two of pentacles generally is that kind of indecision energy, feeling ungrounded or stay unstable about a partnership situation, about emotional connection. And we've been called to make a choice. The lovers is also about choice around a big matter of the heart, but we've been called to choose wisely and carefully because generally with the lovers decisions, there is somebody that we need to disappoint. There is somebody that you know may get hurt here and of course the energies can be vice versa as well because I feel that you know one of you and it's probably you has this dream here of the knight of wands of you know carrying on to a new frontier you know moving towards 
passions, purpose and desire and really wanting to manifest all of that, all of the dreams, everything, you know, that's what I'm feeling. We've got the Ten of Pentacles over here, which I haven't touched yet, but this is basically the indication that maybe we need to complete a stable kind of home situation, relationship, partnership, in order to kind of go out on a bit of a limb here. We're going to be going into potentially in more unstable time for a while in order to get to the greater the greater good right so we have to be kind of prepared to to give up a sense of security um, and step into the unknown in order to find that greater level of security down the track is what I'm really feeling here so it's never easy guys and it's it can require upheaval but you know we don't we don't get to the higher levels unless we really take these steps Outcome, Eight of Wands, Two of Wands, Strength, Leo from the Major Arcana, number eight. Yeah, so the Two of Wands is really life in review. You know, you're really thinking carefully about um, this decision. The Two of Wands is really about the fact that you're still kind of in the current, current comfort zone of the present situation, but you've got kind of like one hand on that Ace of Wands, the one that the Knight of Wands wants to run with. So it's like you've kind of already made this decision, but you're yet to take the bold action of the moving away, of the crumbling. You know, there's still a connection to the previous, to the present situation here, but there's a real sense here of wanting to expand your consciousness, broaden your horizons. There is definitely also a sense of maybe wanting to travel or relocate here. You know, it's sort of like a sense of adventure or excitement that maybe you're in a situation that is really stable and secure, but it's kind of like, um, it's not challenging your needs. It's not offering you the kind of spices and flavors of life that you really want to experience. And, you know, we, we only live in this particular um, way, in this particular unique expression once. So the Eight of Wands can be the divine intervention that shifts you. It can be uh, the message coming in from the High Priestess, maybe through your intuition or maybe through something that you see or a synchronicity that is what you need to have the strength, courage and determination to basically take that leap beyond the comfort zone and initiate change in your life. Yeah, this can also be those Cupid's arrows if there has been another connection that you're wondering whether to move towards. Either way, the person in the Two of Wands who is in that life review is considering taking bold action to move towards their passions, their purpose, their desires, because there is a sense that there is discontent and dissatisfaction where you are. So if you want the Ninth, ninth Cup, that beautiful Ace of Wands, you know, we need to we need to take action and move towards it. So Pisces, that's what I have for you this week. And um, I hope you enjoy this channeled intuitive tarot message. Keeping in mind it is a general reading for the collective. So it may or may not be for you. I wish you all the best with it, Pisces. If it is your reading, feel free to drop me a comment. I do try and um, interact with you all over there. And I certainly do read them all. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what the collective themes are. It's been a pleasure to read your cards, Pisces. I will see you back here for another one next week. Bye for now.